guys, I'm in Bali. Sorry for the mess, but I was supposed to eat, but then I realized that maybe I should record a vlog about food in Bali. <laughs> you will not expect what I'm eating. I'm not eating Indonesian food. Since I live in Singapore, I always miss Polish food. So while I'm here, I realized that it's so many choices of the Polish, okay, Slavic food. It's most likely made by Russians or Ukrainians. Uh, because we have Solyanka and I know it's a Ukrainian soup, maybe also Russian soup. I honestly don't know if it's uh, Ukrainian or Russian soup, but I ate it in Poland and they called it Ukrainian Solyanka. So I love the soup and I've seen that it's available on Grab in Indonesia in here in Bali. So I had to order, right? And I also have Gołąbki. Uh, it is called Gołąbki in Polish. That means it's uh, meat with rice and wrapped in uh, cabbage and everything is in a tomato soup, it looks like that. Maybe it doesn't look that good, but it's so tasty. Trust me, if you have opportunity to eat it, it's so good. I don't know how they call it, uh, cabbage rolls or something like that. Uh, there was also vegetarian option, but I didn't take it obviously. But in Poland, we never eat vegetarian option, I think, but maybe I'm wrong, let me know. So in here we have Solyanka, which is, uh, I think it's, soup with few types of meat you can see oh and it's lemon it's also olives i don't like olives but i usually don't eat them and it's some um, sausages cabbage um i think potatoes or maybe no potatoes usually well, there was potato oh potatoes yes and i think it's pork yeah oh for sure pork and beef so it's with all the types of meat it, and it's amazing, it smells so good. And I also got bread. I had to bite it, I had to try it, sorry. Because I just, I just couldn't wait, you know, because when I open it, it's so nice smell that I had to try. Okay, so here, it's a bit uh, dark, but it smells not so good, but never mind. Okay, this one is better. So, I love to eat like that, it's so good. Mm, the taste is so legit, but I'm actually surprised that they gave me dark bread. Usually they give no more white bread, but this one is still okay. I was really missing Polish food and I can't believe in Indonesia I'm eating Polish. Okay, I would call it Polish food because it's exactly the same. And here what we have is Strogonov. Okay, I also tried already. Oh, I'm so sorry, I tried without you. It's Strogonov. Uh, that means, I don't know if you know what Strogonov is. It's, um, I think it's beef or pork in the mushroom sauce is very different than in Poland. In Poland, we make it more with uh, paprika, I think, with paprika and tomato. I, I think so. I'm, I'm not sure. I never cooked that before. And mashed potatoes. So, oh my God, I love mashed potatoes. And in here, they're really giving the real mashed potatoes, real potatoes. Because in Singapore, usually they give the mashed potato that is made from powder. So it doesn't taste legit. The, the, the taste is quite fake. I mean, I'm fine with that, but you know, I really miss the real mashed potato taste. And I think it is with, um, how to say, cream, which we call smetana. I shouldn't eat smetana because I'm uh, lactose intolerant, but never mind. Because the mashed potatoes are just so perfect. It's like a, like a cloud, you know, it's so good. But actually the sauce tastes way different than the Polish stroganoff. Mm. It tastes more like just a mushroom, just a mushroom sauce with the meat, but we don't call it stroganoff. Stroganoff is the sauce is usually orangey, more red, because it's not made from mushroom, but it's still very tasty because oh, just because of the mashed potatoes. But you know how I'm going to eat it? I don't know why they are not serving um, gołąbki, the um, roll. How do you call it? Cabbage rolls. I don't know why they are not serving this gołąbki with mashed potatoes. It has to be with mashed, with mashed potatoes. There is no other choice. I don't know why they do this. They gave me two, two gołąbki, two cabbage rolls, which, which are quite small. In Poland, usually it's just half, but it smells very legit, like very legit taste, but I have to try it in a Polish way. So I will just take some mashed potato and dip it in a sauce. Oh, it's a lot of carrot in here. Mm. Oh my God, tastes like my mom. I mean, my mom will make the same taste. Sorry for my English, I'm not native. 
trying my best. I hope you understand me. Okay, so there is all. I will show you the meat, how the meat looks like. The meat is mixed with the rice, usually. Oh, no, they don't do like that. In Poland, we usually mix rice with minced meat together and roll it with the cabbage. I mean, wrap it with the cabbage, no roll. <laughs> so this is how the meat looks like, but I think it's just normal meat without rice. Mm. Yeah, so the rice is missing for me. But okay, I don't know why, why I unwrap it, but the, the cabbage is so good. It's like overcooked, so it's amazing. The taste is amazing. Mm. Oh my God, the taste is so legit. The only thing is I prefer this meat with rice, mixed with rice. Let me know if you ever ate this gorongi thing. I prefer with rice. It's much more softer if it's with rice. So yeah, that's, that's it. But let's go to Solyanka now. Okay, I must tell you something. Okay, I already, I can already judge it, but let me taste more Solyanka. Mm, I forgot one thing, Solyanka so good. Oh my God, Solyanka is so good. They also gave me two creams. So I guess one was supposed to be for Gomki and one was supposed to be for Solyanka. But since I should avoid it, I'm not gonna eat it. But it, it tastes way better with the, the cream because it's sour cream. It's so good, trust me. If you are not lactose intolerant, you should eat it with the smetana. We call it smetana, which is uh, sour cream. So good. Mm. Oh my god. Really, this solyanka is the best. I don't know. I don't know how to describe the taste. Oh my god. This is amazing. Just trying to avoid the olive. Okay. I, I have dessert as well in here. I'll show you. I love to dip the bread in the soup because it's so juicy and crispy at the same time. Oh my god, so perfect. Mm. Oh my god. And I always have to have some drink, some soft drink, but very sweet one. So I love to drink like Coke or Sprite or something like that. Oh my god, I love it. I can't, I can't stop eating, you guys. And you know what? Darny is not here. He is uh, in our friend's house and they just order pizza and I'm like oh. Being in Bali having so much Slavic food eating pizza come on So I decided to come back home order myself so many meals Eat it myself. I mean I'm not gonna finish so so going to the prices So Lianka cost me eight dollars eight Singapore dollars which is um, since I know I got some Polish uh, audience in here still, not, not a lot, but still there. So I would say this one uh, costs around 25 zloty, which is like eight Singapore dollars. Singapore dollars are not American dollars. So that's why the currency is a bit different. That's why I'm saying Singapore dollars. So another one, this cost me, I think seven Singapore dollars or six, seven, uh, six or seven Singapore dollars, this Gomki. But I'm quite disappointed that it's not with mashed potato. But obviously they didn't say that it's with mashed potato, so I expect that it's not going to be with mashed potato. That's why I ordered this stroganoff because I knew it's gonna be with mashed potatoes because the picture looked so perfect that I couldn't stop looking at this. That's why I ordered. It's amazing. Like the mashed potatoes in Bali is so legit like Polish taste. I'm sorry for if it's Ukrainian or Russian food, but it really tastes like Polish food. No surprise, right? We are like neighbors, so <laughs> it's like we are not surprised about that. Mmm, it's super Slavic taste. It's legit, legit. Before we go to the dessert, I'm going to rate it. Okay, so for me, Solyanka number one. Totally number one. I can't say any bad thing about that. It's just perfect. Mm. The taste is perfect. It's like the soup is very concrete. You've got a lot of things inside. So I could order only this soup for myself and it will be enough for me for a whole meal. So Solyanka, the best thing. And actually it was the most, ex no, this was the most expensive, I think. I think this was uh, nine Singapore dollars. So the prices are not bad to compare to Singapore. I think the prices are more closer to the Polish prices, but still a bit more cheaper than in Poland, I guess. I mean, I'm saying about Warsaw because I don't know the prices in other cities in, in Poland. So that's why I'm comparing to Polish prices. 
uh, anti-Singapore prices since I live in Singapore, but I'm Polish. And I ordered it just because I'm Polish and I miss Polish food. In Singapore, we don't have any Slavic food. So this is all I can get. I know it's quite surprising that I'm not eating Indonesian food, but maybe next time. In Singapore, usually I eat Indonesian food, okay? Okay, so, Solyanka number one. I rated 10 out of 10. And the second one, I'm not quite sure because here, if this is with mashed potatoes, the it will be number two for me because the taste of the the taste of the sauce is perfect, cabbage is perfect, but the meat is not my favorite because uh, I can feel like it's not very smooth. It's not like um, you know, it's quite like there are some parts that are quite chewy, so I'm, I'm not really happy about the meat. So I'm not going to finish it, this one. But the cabbage and the sauce are perfect. It's like my mom will make the same taste, but my mom will make better meat. I'm sorry. And this stroganoff, I love mashed potatoes. So okay, I will I will make this number two. No, okay, I will make this number two. But just because of the mashed potatoes, I'm craving for this meal more than craving for this gohonki because the meat is not satisfying. But here the sauce is quite plain flavor like we usually have in Poland but honestly I was expecting different tastes for the stroganoff because in Poland stroganoff is not made with mushrooms maybe I'm wrong but my mom was always doing with paprika and tomato I think so the taste was more similar to this one than to the mushrooms but I don't know maybe I'm wrong uh, but I love the mashed potatoes so Number one, one, number two, and three. So, time to eat the dessert. Oh my god. So, how do they call it? Blinky or something like that? Bil, bil. How do they call it? Blinky? No. I don't know. Anyway, in Polish, we call it naleśniki. <laughs> oh my god. I love pancakes. This is pancakes, right? So, this is blueberry pancakes. And they are serving it like this, they folded it but inside is nothing so you have to put it yourself actually it's a good idea because if they put it first it will soak the, the jam or what they are serving in here oh I think it's a maple syrup in here yeah it's a maple syrup oh nice and my favorite blueberries and what is amazing in Indonesia because it's not my first time ordering uh, pot, uh, pancakes in here Actually, it's the third day of eating pancakes, pancakes in here because I love pancakes and in Singapore, we only have these American pancakes that, you know, the big one, not the simple one. So, so usually I make myself this kind of like Polish pancakes in Singapore. I'm not really ordering because usually in, in Singapore, like we never have this in Singapore. We, in Singapore, we have only the big American uh, pancakes, which I'm not a big fan of, but still okay, but this is my favorite. Uh, so, what is amazing in here that usually they, yes, here, what is amazing in here that they are not serving like normal jam, they are making it. So they usually just blend the fruits. Oh my god, and it's like so legit, you see? Oh my god, I love blueberries, so it's perfect. So, like usually you just take it like that, right? Oh, but quite small, this pancake's quite small, but it's enough for me, obviously. They gave me four pancakes and it cost only like four dollars. It's, uh, it's four Singapore dollars, which is like very, very cheap. I'm so happy about that. That's why I'm eating it every day. <sighs> and just, you know, wrap it like you want. And I dip it in the maple syrup. Oh my god. Mmm, heaven. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. <clears throat> if I will have to rate everything again, I would say sweet is number one. Obviously, I love sweets. I love everything they sweet, but the the blueberry jam uh, jam is so intense. Oh my god, that's a heaven. Mmm. No oh guys. You have to come to Bali. Bali is amazing. Oh my god, Bali is amazing and it's so cheap. I mean, everybody told me that in Bali everything is more expensive right now. Uh, after, after you know, this pandemic and stuff. But it is still good prices. It's still cheaper than in Poland and way more cheaper than in Singapore. So, if you want to eat amazing food, spend a nice time in a very nice weather, come to Bali.
can taste that it's like they make it from the start it's not any processed food in here it's everything is very fresh okay guys i hope you like the video and next time i will try to order dumplings which is polish uh, pierogi we, we call it pierogi we, it's oh my god i love dumplings in singapore we have one place that got uh, this pierogi the dumplings but it's a bit different than the polish one even though I've heard that uh, there is a Polish person cooking it but mm, it's not the same like my mom, okay? But here I've seen on the picture because I can tell from the picture already which is legit or closer to be legit or which one is not legit and I've seen that it looks so soft that I'm going to order it and make a review and tell you if it is like Polish taste or is the taste that we usually don't have if you like this kind of uh, comparison if you are interested in food content come to my profile I will try to test more food since I'm traveling a lot ah, flies everywhere since I'm traveling a lot I will try to make more videos like that let me know if you are interested and I will ask Darny to join also today he was not able to join since he's eating his pizza in our friend's place but guys, let's have a feast.